English Intensive Program 011 Grammar Count and Non-Count Nouns Part 1 The Learning Objectives By the end of this lesson, you will be able to Identify and use count and non-count nouns properly Use expressions of quantity Many, much, a few, and a little Use a, an, some, and any with count and non-count nouns Look at the following pictures and pay attention to the count and non-count nouns A chair Some chairs Some furniture A coin Some coins some money non-count nouns a count noun can be counted with numbers I have one book he has two books the word book is a count noun it can be counted with numbers an uncount noun cannot be counted with numbers so it's strong to say I have one rice or he has two rices the word rice is an uncount noun it cannot be counted with numbers a count noun can be preceded by a or an I have an apple we saw a monkey Apple is a count noun. It can be preceded by an. An uncount noun is not used with a or an. So it's wrong to say I need an information. It's also wrong to say he wants a milk. Because the word information is an uncount noun. It is not used with an. A count noun has a plural form. We haven't got any glasses. A glasses is a count noun. It has a plural form. An uncount noun doesn't have a plural form. So it's wrong to say this room hasn't got any furnitures. The word furniture doesn't have a plural form. It is an uncount noun some common non-count nouns work homework traffic money mail jewelry furniture equipment flower dirt corn vocabulary literature poetry advice information milk, coffee, sugar, sand, salt, rice, hair, pepper, meat, cheese, butter, bread, water, tea, soup, oil, beauty, health, knowledge, experience, weather, wood, soap, paper, Honesty, patience, progress, ignorance, happiness, luck, help, and courage.